and I completed a research study estimating the costs of untreated perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. And we found over $14 billion in cost, billion with a B, it's a big number. And we found that individuals with perinatal mood and anxiety disorders had 3.5 percentage point higher rates of cesarean sections at delivery. That is a clinically meaningful difference and we're trying to understand more about why that happens. Our research team also found an increasing rate of suicidal ideation and self-harms among commercially insured pregnant and postpartum individuals. Those rates have been increasing. A number of um, professional organizations have become more interested and focused on perinatal mental health and substance use conditions with a greater focus on screening and then ensuring linkage to follow-up. That could be one way that clinical providers could assist with this population.